This is Marshall from the day job. About to go hit some lunch up. I passed by this place. It's called the Starving Artist Cafe. And this guy right here is an artist. And this guy right here is starving. <laughs> Donkey, Donkey Job Projects! Sunny. 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 All right, so, um, I, you know, yeah, I said I was starving, but of course I wasn't necessarily starving. I was just a little bit hungry. It was lunchtime. <laughs> I'm not really starving, but uh, here's a, kind of this fun self-portrait I did, um, kind of pertaining to the subject. So you will see how that comes out here um, soon. <laughs> but. Uh, Basically, I wanted to talk about this whole, you know, social stigma of, you know, the starving artists culturally, you know, it's said that, you know, artists can't really make the greatest living and, you know, it's, it's not a good career path to get into. Um, but, you know, that's, that's not necessarily true, um, and especially um, nowadays. But, uh, yeah, obviously there has been um, some history of that happening. You know, Vincent Van Gogh obviously um, didn't make a ton of money off of his paintings while he was alive, and now they go for, they're, they're priceless, you know. <laughs> um, Jack Kirby in the comics arena, he's very well known for having troubles as well. But uh, I'll get into that a little bit more soonly. Check this out, though. Okay, so uh, like I said, um, I found this cafe that I went to lunch for, and this is Lee, Massachusetts, uh, where I happened to be driving that day. And um, yeah, and you can see right here, right at the top, the Good Purpose Gallery and the Starving Artist Cafe. Um, that's where I went. So it's it's half a gallery, half a cafe. These were some of the paintings that were on the wall. Um, and it was a really awesome place, like the people were super nice, it was just, you know, kind of this artsy, like, kitschy type of cafe, and there's this cool sign right here, Lee Department Store, must be like a historical sign, and the, this is one of the artists, there were two of them, I think they, it was a married couple, you know, who had the gallery, this was, that was the husband or something. And uh, definitely really cool art. The other was more abstract. This is more, you know, um, realistic. And then there's some really cool sketchbooks and things you could buy. Um, yeah, you sit at a little table and you get a number. And there's this cool cream soda that I had that was really good. Black cherry cream soda. It was certainly tasty. That's the sight outside. You know, I sat down and had that nice view. Really cool to have something like that during lunch instead of you know, typical McDonald's. This is what I got. I don't remember what exactly it was called, but it had a really cool name. It was like, just the best sandwich you could possibly ever have. That was like the name. Like, it was weird, but it was cool. It had um, avocado and uh, Canadian bacon, which I guess is bologna, I think. It was okay. I didn't really love it, to be honest. I usually like to eat more simply, but, um, but yeah. That was kind of the visit at the artist, the starving artist cafe where artists don't starve as much as you would think. So yeah, back to this idea of the starving artist. I think the problem with this whole idea is, um, you know, first of all, the culture doesn't have an accurate view of what it's like to be an artist. There are some making it successfully. Talking about the historical artist, I mean, Picasso, he was, he sold tons of his paintings and he did very well for himself. Um, there's other artists who have done the same. Um, but, you know, I think the problem, though, really is with the artists. Like, the way we think about money is kind of messed up because we, you know, we start out wanting to do art and we do it for the, you know, for the passion of it. Um, and so when we think about making money, we start to feel like, well, you know, are we selling out? Are we still doing it for the passion? And, and there's like that conflict within us and it gets really tough um, but I think we should you know learn to think about money a little bit differently 
and you know when when somebody wants to give you money for something you've done um, it's a certificate of you know basically that they appreciate you and that you did something in their life that would brought them joy or you know happiness you know made them laugh brought some inspiration so what we do really is worthwhile um, and we need to start feeling more confident with that you know and feel like it's okay to receive money and a lot of us are and especially in this day and age with patreon and youtube and all that stuff and all these different outlets you know we have a lot more opportunity in that realm so the only the thing that you want to do though is there's only two factors you can really control um, you only have so much talent necessarily but the two factors is how hard you work at building your skill and pushing getting your artwork out there and also learning you know how much you learn you need to just keep learning every day and trying to get better and that's what you can do you know to not be <laughs> a so-called uh, starving artist right so so yeah this is the little um, you know self-portrait drawing I did and yeah hopefully that little talk thing was was helpful to you but yeah this is the little self-portrait I did I did that while I was on a hangout with some friends and I think it came out cool I really enjoyed doing it and I hope you like it let me know what you think so thanks for watching, please subscribe and let me know what you thought of this and if you really liked it, feel free to share it with anybody you think who would enjoy it as well. Time to get back to work. The sun came out. Yeah!